Hi, I'm Karen Herrick. Thanks for joining us today. I'm with Herrick Home Team at Remax Encore. Today I've got another great community spotlight of a terrific upcoming event. Today with me I have Nancy Tollison of Paws Wakefield. Thank Welcome you. Nancy. Well, thank you Karen. And today I'd like to talk about a, an event that's coming up very shortly um, around the corner that should be a fun event for everybody and it's called the Paws Pet Wellness Day and it's part of the Subaru Loves Pets uh, nationwide event and the local Subaru North Ave has invited us to be there to uh, do this Pet Wellness Day. I mean it's going to start, it runs from 11 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon. We have a lot of different things planned and we already have um, open registrations now for low cost uh, rabies and, um, and baby shots and uh, microchips for animals. And we've got so many notices of lost animals. If I can really encourage people, if you have an animal that goes outdoors at all, get it microchipped. It'll help you so much to try to help you find that animal. And we, we are doing it during that day. We're going to have uh, wellness uh, visits for the animals. Um, we're going to have a little shop from our Esther's Nook with things for animals. We're going to have uh, inf informational sessions. And I'm, as the intake manager and foster manager for PAWS, I'm going to be involved with helping to try to find homes for over 20 of our um, older, harder to, to adopt cats because we've been very, very fortunate to get a, a grant for kitties who've been with us for a while uh, at either a fee reduced or a fee waived basis. Um, it means we're still looking for the same high quality people to adopt, but we know that these you know cats have a little more challenges and we want to make it a little easier for you to adopt. And that sounds terrific. That's so nice of um, the SPCA and Subaru to do this. Um, I know, um, Nancy, I've been involved with PAWS for a while now. I'm on my second um, adoption and I adopt a senior cat and and they're just wonderful pets and yeah. sometimes like even easier than the younger ones. Yeah, so I, I really hope yeah. this is an exciting opportunity. Well, well thank you. We have a couple of success stories I can share with you already. But we have Balboa who is 17 years old. He was our oldest foster and but just you know in really good health. He, he had some issues. He you know, had to have his uh, thyroid le me levels ma managed but with diet that he can do that and he's with his foster family. He's just hanging all over the sofa and having a great time. A young cat but he's only two years old. Orange Kitty we spent uh, two years trying to get him in uh, because he was kind of wily and he fortunately had a family in Saugus that was helping feed him and stuff but it was still hard to catch him and we finally caught him this spring and one thing that PAWS does is we check all our cats for FIV and FELV which are two major illnesses we want to be sure that any adopters know about and FELV is um, basically cat leukemia and unfortunately Magellan um, tested positive for leukemia. This is a more serious illness in that the feline leukemia cats cannot mix with other cats and the long-term prognosis it will impact their their longevity because they're gonna be more prone to illness but you know there's no treatment there's no cure you love them while you have them you mm -hmm. keep them inside you keep them healthy and they can live you know they can live a decent life and so I'm so happy for his adopter he was kind of shy when he came in and he says he didn't take him very long he really settled in quickly and he's running up and down the stairs and hops in his lap in his home office and purrs up a storm so these are cats that just you know are looking for somebody to love them and uh, you know, Maisie's another amazing example. <laughs> Big, <laughs> one huge fluff ball of a cat. You know, um, basically one of our few pure, more purebred cats. Can't call her purebred because we don't have the papers, but she sure looks like a Himalayan. Yep. But at 12 years old, you know, she's an older cat and she just wants somebody to love her. And she just, like, I love the pictures where she's hanging all over the chair. And we have more of those. And um, we have cats that are very, very shy. We have cats with some health issues. We have some cats with some attitude. And you also have some kittens coming online. We do have kittens. Kittens are our full price, uh, but we, <laughs> 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 but we do, uh, we, you know, uh, uh, our, our kitten season is starting later and later every year and right now we probably have well over 30 kittens in our pipeline. Some are nursing with their moms, they're too young and we don't put them on their on the website to be seen until they are old enough to be spayed and neutered. Every cat at PAWS is spayed and neutered and we microchip them and give them their uh, rabies and their vaccinations if they're old enough mm -hmm. and then we look for their wonderful forever homes and so we have adoption hours at our office on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and PAWS is a, a all-volunteer uh, group of home-based fosters. We don't have a shelter and we are a 501c3 so we're always looking for money to help us pay it forward because the medical needs for our cats because we tend to get cats that are older and sicker and you know kittens all they need is one problem <laughs> and and you're off to the races and um, you know so that we can you know basically provide people with you know wonderful healthy cats when they adopt them and uh, we just get great success stories we love to hear back from people where 
Uh, we have a Facebook presence. Uh, we have Twitter. We have Instagram. And Absolutely. Yeah, we hear from people looking for cats. We have people sharing their stories. And it's just, it's just a great group. We're always looking for new fosters to get involved with us because as a volunteer organization, we can only take in as many cats as we have foster placements. Absolutely. So to summarize, then, you have a wellness event with Subaru of Wakefield yep. on October 20th. Yep. And what was the time again? 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. 11 to 2 p.m. At the Subaru dealership right at the North Ave exit on one, uh, I-95, 128. Great. And uh, you have reduced adoption fees for senior and special needs cats in October? Correct. Correct. And you're always looking for new foster homes for right. all, cats of all sizes right. and ages. Right. And we'll be doing a special um, low-cost rabies and microchip um, uh, service at the wellness clinic, as well as other informational uh, you know, topics on how to care for cats, how to find lost cats. We're just going to basically try to share all the information we have about mm -hmm. uh, being good, good pet parents. 